Uh, g'day, uh, it's Adam Draycott coming to you uh, with a COVID conversation for Thursday morning, the 25th of June. Uh, this is for St Augustine's Anglican Church family and uh, others beyond might benefit too. Uh, first thing to talk about is SRE. Uh, it is back in term three, but under particular conditions. Uh, so it remains a big topic of prayer as term three looms. It's not far away. Uh, the encouragement from the diocese hasn't changed. Uh, they want respective parishes to get a reserve bench of scripture teachers together. Teachers who are ready to step up in place of those who aren't able to return for whatever reason. Uh, for us in our parish, a bench would be a luxury. Wouldn't we love that? Uh, because it implies that we already have a full complement of SRE teachers. And of course, uh, we don't. Uh, there is still a need for SRE teachers, irrespective of COVID-19. So if you're interested, uh, please get in contact. Uh, good news. More good news. Youth group is on for one night. This Friday night, that's tomorrow. Uh, then it breaks again for term three. Tomorrow night, usual time, 6.30 to 8 p.m. Under the circumstances, we offer the extra encouragement for parents to collect children from outside the hall at 8 p.m. Uh, teenagers, I think you need to bring your own Bible. Uh, call Tinica for more details. More good news. Sunday school is open this Sunday morning. Just one Sunday, and then again, it breaks for term three, just like youth group. The time frame is 9.30 to 10.30 a.m. Call Tinica for more information. That's Sunday school. Senior Citizens returns. It's on tomorrow morning, Friday morning at 10 a.m. in the parish hall. And it's being led by the Reverend David Wiedemann. Thank you, David. COVID restrictions apply, of course. Again, bring your own Bible. Uh, what about church on Sundays? Uh, there is still no change to the present arrangement for us. Our Sunday services uh, have not yet returned. We continue to gather online in homes where we can sing, where we can share the Lord's Supper and be together that way. If you haven't picked up a blue card and you think it might be helpful, there's still some in our letterbox. About online church, uh, lots can change quickly. Uh, but assuming church is still delivered online over the next four weeks, the next two Sundays will follow the now familiar online format. Uh, and then we will venture into school holidays. And because it's school holidays, our services will be adjusted. Just for two Sundays, they'll be a little different. So please be patient with that. Uh, we'll continue to major on the majors. However, if you're wondering why they're different, uh, that's why. Who knows what will happen after those four weeks? We just don't know. Uh, about the COVID team, we're still looking for people to contribute. Uh, we're happy we can get some ministries to open again. So we're starting off small. And these are ministries that have been particularly, um, that have particularly suffered uh, in this season. Uh, and... It's manageable. Youth group, we think, will be manageable. Sunday school, the senior service. But opening to the general public for three services on a Sunday and all that this entails, that is a different prospect. I wish it wasn't the case, but it is. Uh, we've shared responsibilities around, even for those um, youth group and Sunday school as they open. We know we need to share responsibilities around. We know what needs to happen. We've only got one handful of people, though, and we really need two handfuls. Three would be even better. Uh, so please give that some thought. I know on a, any given Sunday, sometimes it's a challenge to just fill up our normal roster for the normal jobs and to ask for more work uh, responsibilities is a stretch, and I think that's what we're feeling. Parish Council meets Monday evening, 5pm, in the Parish Hall. 
remember the song we sing. Uh, the song we sing as God's people is vastly different to the song the world sings. We've seen that in the book of Revelation. The world sings a song of entitlement, of victimhood, of pride. The world is oppositional. The world doesn't take no for an answer. But that is not the way of Christ's bride, his church. Uh, we are the people of God. Uh, we're to be characterised characterized by him, to be godly people who love and show grace and patience, selflessness and sacrifice, always thinking about the other and the needs of the other. And we go the extra mile, don't we? Uh, we do more than what is asked, uh, even if it means it will cost us, even if it means we suffer. We sing the song of the gospel no matter the cost. Uh, so let's keep doing that. Uh, you've been brilliant. Uh, there's still a little way to go. So let's uh, persist with our patience and our kindness and the love that we've been doing so well. Uh, wash your hands. Practice safe distancing. Stay away if you are sick and be safe. Continue to be patient and kind and keep looking out for one another. Uh, that's all from me. Much love. You'll see me soon. Bye.